Well, hey, welcome back. We're rolling in again to uh, grab a Chevrolet van. It's got a bad tag on it, but whoever uh, whoever owns this van, they uh, they put some a different tag on it than the one that was on it. Uh, it's still expired, but we're gonna have to grab it. You know what time it is, dude. Gonna get towed next time. Be funny to see, see what he does. Just gonna go back over there, back in the same same parking place. Be willing to bet. Yeah, he can't leave the property. That's why he's not wanting to leave the property. Anyway, that, it does happen. But uh, right now, there's there's three, there's three or four more that I got to tow. Well, I know three more I got to go grab. That's what I'm fixing to do. There's one with no tag on it, a uh, big F-150. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go put some hooks on it and get it loaded, and then get off and get off this property. try to keep in, you know, keep in the loop about where I'm towing. And I know that they, uh, they there's been people killed on this property right here. I said, not that bad, but it is what it is. What's going on, man? You got a sticker for a flat tire. The tire's flat. Okay, you're gonna have to fix it, man. When they sticker it, you gotta fix it. It's up to, it's up to you, it's up to you to fix it, huh? Yeah, it's got a good tag. Uh, they, the, the property, they don't know. They, they don't know who's with the flat tire. Been sitting for a long time. They, they just told them. They don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, just trying to pump, keep the tire pumped up. When they put a sticker on it, you don't pump it up. All right. How right. we going? You understand? Do you know who has a pump or something? I don't have a pump. Hey, tell anybody I can't fix a flat. Go fix a flat in there. Find somebody. He's got a pump it or they'll tow it. You know, that's all. Yeah, it's not me, it's the property, you know? No, I'm not gonna try to hook it right now. I mean, it, it just needs to be done. Uh, you need to do it today. I mean, hey, it's got a legal tag and everything. It's got a tag. Just call the office and tell them what's going on. Communicate with them. Yeah. Yeah, have a good one. I kind of figured this was gonna happen, man. We, we've gotten seven or eight cars out of here with no, no problems. And uh, catches up with you when you have uh, no issues, smooth sailing. Nobody comes out, and then you'll have a spell where you don't have any problems. And you, then you turn around, and you got a bunch of people coming out on you. I got one more vehicle, one more down here. I need to get. hooked there all right It is what it is. We got it. We got the truck. Uh, and uh, there's two still over here. They better fix them or we'll be back. They'll call us back over here again if they don't. Anyway, stay tuned. Welcome back. Rolling in hot. Uh, we got something that's got a missing wheel on it, and we got another one. Uh, 
she called in. I don't think it's got. I don't think it's got a tag on it. License plate. Uh, anyway, she. This manager will tow periodically. If things get bad, she will. Uh, she will tow. I don't have a building number, but this property is not that big. So uh, it's not going to be that big of an issue to find it. I've got pictures of both vehicles. I've just located the correct section of buildings. This one's affiliated, associated with the other apartments we were on. But look at the pictures. This is the right, the right section of buildings. Like I said, the person that owns this truck has got a real, real strong sense of entitlement to use that property as, uh, however, uh, however they see fit. And I've said this before, men, and it's not always men, but most of the time, man, they pile up more trash, man. They pile up all over the place. Men are bad about that. You can pile if you got a house. Of course, if you got a house, you can pile up whatever you want to pile up, man. But you can't pile this up on a property where somebody else lives at. Uh, it just ain't, it just ain't right, man. They got a security officer that works for this property, and that's the person that's towing these vehicles. this area being as secluded as it is uh, when you're secluded people get a lot more brave when they when they think nobody's around and uh, they'll, they'll act out anyway we got out of there man uh, with no problems we got both those vehicles out uh, it looked like they've been both of them been sitting there for many many months uh, surprised they waited that long to tow them uh, but who knows, man? You can't even tell what the story on them is. Uh, but uh, we do what we do, man. We yank cars. People get mad. Show up at the yard. Act a fool. Calm down and get their car out. That's what usually happens. I guarantee one thing. You show up at a tow lot run your mouth. It's not going to help you get your car back any quicker. It can actually work against you. And that goes especially uh, for companies that work for the police. They do police calls and you show up over there and run your mouth, you'll definitely have problems over there. Anyway, it is what it is.